Hey guys and welcome to number nine farms. Today I wanted to show you something that I didn't go through the whole process because um, the bananas looked so funky um, that I didn't want to, um, you know, thinking that they weren't going to work honestly because it looks so soupy. We had bought a box of um, no, no fault to anybody or anything. What it was, we had bought a box of bananas from Azure that were frozen. Well, it was July when I got them. And I had all intentions of putting them in the freeze dryer right away, but it didn't work out like that. So, um, what they had, they got really, it's a long way from our drop, but plus it was like 90 some degrees that day. They didn't, they, they got really, you know, wet. They, they thawed out some. So, Anyways, my husband decided, I said, let me do the bananas. So they thawed out, and once they thawed out, um, this is what they look like now, froze dry, freeze dried. But um, it took 80 hours, and that's the longest I've ever, ever had to do anything. But he also piled them on really thick, and so now I'm making banana power. But I wanted to show this to you because it might be something you want to do. Um, this will be good for breads. So you could use one tablespoon to one cup of um, flour. You could put this in your smoothies, um, your shakes, but you know, make a banana shake or there's times when you don't have bananas on hand, banana powder. So, um, and also he put uh, fruit cocktail up there. He wanted to try it because we got lots of cans of fruit cocktail and it turned out really good and it's actually very good. So it's very, very good. But I wanted to show you now how the banana power is looking. Look in there. And this was one tray and a half so far. And I've got a couple little humps that I'm working through right now. But, um, so I just wanted to show you that and I'll bring you back when I get the next tray done. But all I'm doing is using uh, my food processor and the uh, chopping blade and that's it. So this will be really, it's really tasty just to eat it just like this. So it's really good, especially if you like bananas. But like my aunt, she hates bananas. So she don't like anything banana or peanut butter. And those, look at that. That's the half gallon jar um, already. And it feels so, it's so fine. And so it's really nice and good. Uh, really good texture so yay uh, I wanted to add to that the um, fruit cocktail was the in light syrup or um, or if you can just go like in its own juice whatever you can get because the less sugar that is involved the better so but also you could grind this up as a powder too for your um, smoothies or shakes so in there when I used to go to a a restaurant, I mean, it was an ice cream store. It's called New Quality. And it was in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. And I'm going to tell you, they used to have this uh, fruit. It was called Mixed Fruit. Um, but it was basically a fruit cocktail that they put in a, in a sh ice cream um, shake. And I'm telling you, it was delicious. I, don't, I have never seen anybody else do that. Of course, that was back in the 90s when uh, we would go all the time with my kids. I'm back with the next tray. See how full it is? So that's why it took so long. But I can't tell Bruce. He's gonna do whatever he wants. So that's how it goes. <laughs> if you get ones like this, that literally won't cut up, just pull those out for the next one and then when you could, cause I'm gonna go ahead and dump this now into the jar. That way it'll go ahead and grind that one up too. Oh, and I also thought about something too. The dogs love bananas and you could use this for some banana, I mean, some treats for the dogs. And uh, it works better if you go ahead and just put it in the jar like this, because when I tried to dump in it, the first time I did lose some on the counter. So just a little tip. <laughs> like one of them giant candy bars and by the way Rosie likes it 
So all I did was break off a piece and Rosie was ready to eat it. But I'm back to, I'm doing a littler jar now, just a quart. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a little smoothie shake um, kind of deal here with the banana powder. So let's see, so you can see better. I'm using just some shelf stable milk I got. Um, some of protein smoothie and this one has a right big scoop on it so one scoop and then I'll go ahead and put the milk in I like using the shelf stable milk since we um, don't go to the school school store much <laughs> oh my goodness all right, so let's give this a go. See how it's gonna work. All right. I used a quarter cup. No, it's a third cup. Or was it a quart? Yeah. It's a third, yeah. I, my daughter, when we were going through some of the stuff when we moved, she's like, why do you have so many third cups? And I said, I don't know. And uh, she said, well, start using them in all your stuff so you don't have have them extra laying around. So now they're scoopers. So this one is really, really old. So all right, let me turn this off so it's not so loud. Okay, guys, look, it looks so <coughs> rosy. <laughs> I can't make a video without Rosie letting you know she's here. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Oh yeah, I gotta take some of this out to Bruce. Rosie liked the banana powder so much. I was giving her the hunks of it, um, but not too much because you don't know how much it might make her little tummy upset. But anyways, there you have it. Um, fruit cocktail, I got this, I don't know how many cans he did. I think it was maybe I'll ask him how much, but um, I'll be right back. Let me go give him some. All right, he came in. Mm. Didn't even have to run out. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Uh. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, so that's a win-win. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.